we felt unified probably more than we ever have as a family. I wouldn't be here without the National Lily Center in my life. When I got out of the military in 2011, I came back and I was in a pretty dark spot in my life. And I got injured while I was on deployment my back. I, I uh, herniated nine discs in my back and fractured part of my spine. And then once I got out, I just kind of felt lost and, and alone and, uh, from, my, from my wounds and from the things that I couldn't do, what I used to be able to do. So I signed up with Wounded Warrior Project and the, the next week um, there, was an act, there was a ski activity up here at the National Ability Center. And this was when I was, I was heavier, I was overweight and my back, I couldn't walk up the stairs without taking a break. And so I came up with a volunteer and I did one ski run and I, I needed to take a break. And so I sat down and she was really bubbly and happily happy and I was, I was not the nicest of per people. When I got home, um, they called me and said, do you want to come back up again? And I'd been so rude to these people and they were just open. They were open for me to come up and watch me heal. And so the next time I came up, they gave me an old crusty Vietnam veteran <laughs> to go skiing with. And we just cursed the skies on the lift <laughs> and had the best time. This gentleman in this organization empowered me to just to get out. I've come along quite a bit to know that there was a, it was my time to give back. It's been the most positive job I've ever had in my life. It's, it's changed my life. It's nice to be able to come to a place where there's other combat veterans like me. Recreational therapy has saved my life. When I'm cycling, I'm not thinking about the war. I'm getting endorphins. It's putting me in a better mood for the rest of the day. I'm not letting the stress compound on itself. And in doing that, I mean, there's the healing process right there. So you're no longer the monster in your house. You're now dad again. But when we come up here, it's kind of a safe haven for our family. Just to be able to have a place, to be a family and recreate and have fun and laugh. Laughter is priceless. Our kids are happy. They find other kids that are like them, that live with veterans and get it. And I find other spouses and he finds other veterans and we connect. You're in the military and you know everybody in the military fits in that box with you. All of a sudden, you're, you're thrust back into society and you feel very alone, even if you have a wife and children. So it's very important for us to be able to get together and do, have an outlet to do things with our families and other veterans. Nobody treated me like I had a disability. I immediately felt comfortable and then I started coming more and more and more. Then I started volunteering and they opened up a, a new world for me and my family where I can take my kids and build new memories for them. We believe that the, the health of the veteran is directly connected to the health and the wellness of his entire family. If we're not serving the entire family, then we're not really serving the whole of the veteran. And the National Ability Center instills hope in people. We change people's lives for the better. Just playing outside with your kids on the playground is, is therapy enough. And it's, 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 why, it's why I do what I do. It's because I get to watch that every day. My husband probably wouldn't be where he is today had we not had so many good experiences coming up here.